Okay, this is uh, a new video uh, for Advanced MD, uh, and I wanted to specifically talk about the government's uh, meaningful use item number 13. It's a clinical summary. Uh, clinical summary is uh, basically after a visit, they want a summary that providers will provide the patient that has relevant information and instructions containing the name, the office uh, contact information, the uh, date, location of the visit, uh, any updated medications, updated vitals, reasons for the visit, uh, basically what took place during the visit and uh, they want that information uh, basically provided for uh, for the parents uh, specifically to hopefully improve uh, patient care it also is used here. I'll kind of show you. Here's the from the from the government. This is the exact definition. If you want to read it, so here it is. If you want to take a look at it, let me let me uh, scroll down a little bit. But basically, you, we want to know. Well, how do we um, how do we achieve this? Well, basically, within three days of, uh, of having a visit, we have to have created a meaningful use item number 13, a clinical summary, on 50% of our patients. And uh, I'll show you how we do that. This is all this stuff. If you want to go and look at all the definitions and the specifics, this is where you go to. You just go to cms.gov regulations and guidance and look up the meaningful use. But let me show you, again, meaningful use number 13, clinical summary. How do you do this with advanced MD? I'll show you how I do it. So let's go back to our good old friend. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let me just make it small. I just want to make it small. So I'm going back to our good old friend test dummy and he happens to be 11 years of age we've got a bunch of stuff in test dummy let me have let's see let's do a chart note I'm sure we have one in the past let's see here here's a sick visit that Dr. Kwan did way back when so let me go to the sick visit and I'll show you how I do it for a sick visit you do it the exact same way for a well visit uh, but basically, you after you've finished your note, what you want to do is you want to go up to the top of this blue bar where your sick or well visit is, or circumcision for that matter, and come over to Word Merge. That's how we're going to create a clinical summary. This also works really well for um, summaries for when we do referrals. Uh, but again, you're going to have to be careful because uh, there'll be some information in there for particularly like adolescents. Uh, that we may need to uh, edit out some information to protect the privacy of the provider patient. Uh, so there may be some sensitive information that we don't want to share with everyone in the world. And then you may need to edit that out, uh, for example, sexual history or drug use, etc. So let's see here. So word merge, and you go to print merge, and then over here you go to summary of visit I think I made that one you could do visit summary that's the one advanced MD made but I did the top one and I think that gives a little bit even better detail but so if you come over here and you go okay open word document and then what you'll notice over here see this this little box here summary 815 this is created a summary of that visit that Dr. Kwan did on 815. So I'm going to come over here and say go ahead and open it. And so what it does is it basically creates a uh, summary of the patient's visit. On the top you notice it's included the date of the visit 815 2012. It happens to be that was the date. The test dummy's name, the age, their address, their telephone number, Again, it mentions their, their sex. Again, it repeats a lot of information. This is the time and date stamp of when the visit note was created. And kind of come down here. I've listed here. I put in all of the um, current allergies. So it lists all those. Come down a little bit more. 
current medications. So there's a list, a list all their medicines that they've been on that are in their current meds tab. Keep going. So this kid's got quite a bit. Their past medical history, if we filled anything in, and their past medical history, their family history, their social history, uh, current history, any risk factors that have been noted, um, like you know obesity or asthma, any alerts that have been noted, um, who brought them in, in this case the mother, um, for this visit, it brings in the, what the chief complaint was for this visit. It was for fever that Dr. Kwan had made up the visit for. Puts in their, their recorded weight, uh, what their BMI is, their height, their head circumference, temperature, if those things were measured. Blood pressure. Puts in their chief of complaint again. Puts in their reason for their visit, their history of their present illness. So sore throat. So if you put in a lot of detail in the HPI, it will all show up there. Um, then in the diagnosis box where we generally will write a lot of detail about what the diagnosis is, what the treatment is, what, what our thoughts are. That's the box that we put all that, that detail in. Everything that you put in, oh, let me get my finger. Everything that you put in there will show up in detail right here. And then problem list, that's anything that was in the problem list. It's going to list that again so you get a, a sense of what, what the previous diagnoses have been. And then the assessment and plan section, that's all the diagnoses and the assessment and plan that you, you put in for that day. And then the follow-up plan, and then it repeats the same information again. But at the bottom it says who the provider is. Uh, so uh, Dr. Yang is listed as the primary, and Dr. Kwan was the provider seeing the patient. So that's why it lists those two uh, physicians. And then it repeats the information again, that the date that they were seen, their name, their address, their telephone number, uh, date of birth, all that exciting stuff. And so that is how you do a word merge doc document again. Excuse me while I get rid of that. So again, to do that, you're going to come to your visit after it's saved or signed and come over to, on the right side, word merge and go to Sorry, I'm doing this while I'm holding this thing, so it's a little tricky. And go to Summary Visit and create one right there, and it's going to ask you, open Word Merge document, and go ahead and open it, and, uh, and then you're going to have to sign it at some point. But if you do that within the uh, three days of the visit, of the time that the patient was seen, that counts towards meaningful use of item, again, number... Number 13, clinical summary, and uh, we need to get to 50%. Everybody has to do this 50% um, of the time uh, for all their patient encounters uh, to achieve meaningful use. So I'm doing it pretty much on all 100%, but you know, if we're aiming towards that, then we'll easily meet 50%, and uh, I just make it a habit of doing it uh, before every visit, basically, that I see them. I'll, on all my visits, I go back and I create a uh, clinical summary on, on at the end of the day on every patient that I did that day. It takes a few seconds. It's pretty quick. Okay, and if you have questions, please uh, let me know or uh, ask somebody else who knows how to do this, and we'll, we'll share our knowledge. Thank you very much.